Miss World 2019. I have to start by sending out a huge apology because when I did my predictions, I mentioned Miss Nepal, but I put images of Miss Nepal from last year. Now there's no excuse for this, but if I did have an excuse, it's that I was editing this at like two in the morning. I was like falling asleep as I was doing it, not paying very close attention. I put it out, went to bed, and even when I hit publish to YouTube, I just like felt like something was off. So clearly something was definitely off. So I apologize so much for that. As you guys can hear, my voice is still a bit off. I'm super stuffed up, trying to get as much rest as I possibly can. Let's get into Miss World 2019. I absolutely love Megan Young. I think she, well, Megan Bada. I think she is just so stunning. I remember when she was Miss World and her and Rolene Strauss are two of my favorite Miss Worlds that I follow on Instagram. I love seeing what they're up to. I think they're just incredible women, true inspirations. I love both of them. Now, Miss World focuses on talent and also their beauty with a purpose. And I think that IMG and Miss Universe is more trying to go this route, like the beauty with a purpose route. We've seen that since IMG took over, that they put more of a focus on the girls' speaking skills. They do the different competitions that include talent, multimedia, top model, and sports. So it's very different. It's taken me some learning to understand like how the scoring works and all that stuff. I'm still learning. But anyways, I thought overall it was a very good show. I'm impressed with it. I could definitely argue that the stage was better than the Miss Universe stage this year. Also, as for my predictions, I was very impressed with myself that I was able to come up with a decent prediction. There's 111, 110 or 111 women competing at Miss World. I chose 10 and then I talked to a couple other ones. They're a lot better than I expected in my predictions. I did not have Brazil, Russia, or Cook Islands for the actual top 12, but other than that, I had all the girls, so my nose is running. <laughs> Now I'm going a little bit all over the place, but here it was very exciting that 10 of those Beauty With A Purpose finalists, all of them made it into the top 40, which I thought was really cool. And then in terms of like the specific competitions for sports, I thought it was so funny that they do like the beep test and all that. Like, anyways, British Virgin Islands, she dominated. She ended up being the winner. And then for talent, third was Canada. Second was British Virgin Islands, and the winner was Jamaica. And then for multimedia, I forget who was the winner. Was it Nepal? I think. I don't want to mess things up again. And then Nigeria was the winner of Top Model. Then I was like really laughing at those silver suits that they had. Like what? That was like the one thing. I was like, what is going? Like what are they wearing? I don't know. I just found them kind of humorous i guess and i also just wanted to say as well miss world 2018 vanessa of mexico she's just so gorgeous so well spoken it seems like she had a wonderful year as miss world and is going to continue to do a lot of the work that she did during her year so that's brilliant to see and i really love during the show that they showed so much behind the scenes from while the girls were competing. That's something that was really lacking this year at Miss Universe and I feel like we missed out on that because it's nice to see what the girls are up to and just kind of see more like personality and stuff behind the scenes. So with that, that brings us to the top 12. And in our top 12, we have Miss Kenya, who I talked about very briefly in my predictions. Nigeria, who also won the top model. And what was funny with Nigeria is she was doing like this crazy dancing and her wig fell off and like it showed all the girls laughing and then she said something like her wig said don't do it sister and I just thought it was funny and cute. Then we have Miss Brazil, Miss Mexico, India who's so stunning, Nepal, Philippines, Vietnam, Jamaica, France. I also love seeing her with her afro, she's so beautiful. Then Miss Russia and Cook Islands. So that rounds out the top 12. And from there, they picked a top five. And in the top five was Nigeria, Brazil, India, Jamaica, and France. And for their answers with Piers Morgan, Nigeria gave a really cute answer. Brazil's was pretty good, but I thought it was like a bit too rehearsed at the start. Like it was kind of, she could have been asked anything and given that same answer. India was great, Jamaica, 
Jamaica was for sure the most authentic in the moment and it really seemed like the crowd was behind her. So Jamaica, her answer, it reminded me of South Africa when we were at Miss Universe and you could hear the crowd really getting behind her and favoriting her in the competition. France, I thought she was beautiful as well. Her answer, and, and her words were beautiful, but her answer just didn't have the same power as somebody like Jamaica. So it was like, there was a pretty obvious difference. One thing I think that sort of bothered me here was then Jamaica sang her song because she was the best talent. I love that she sang. I love that they featured her, but I felt like they should have done it sooner in the competition because I felt like it was just like even more obvious that she was going to win at this point. I mean, I guess you could look at it a couple different ways. I personally thought they should have done it earlier, but that's fine. And then of course the winner of the Beauty with a Purpose was named Paul. I thought this video was so well done that they featured of her. It was beautiful, heartwarming, touching. I love that. And then they all sang, and for some reason, this oh my god, that is so annoying. They were all singing. It reminded me of like a boy band or something where they're all like dancing, and I don't know. I thought it was somewhat funny, but you know, a beautiful, touching moment. And then those people playing the trumpets came out and this made me laugh even more but then they announced the top three and third was India, second was France and then of course the winner of Miss World 2019 was Jamaica. I thought it was very well deserved especially after the performance of the evening especially after hearing her speak like I said it seemed like the crowd the audience was so much behind her and was rooting for her. <laughs> Overall I was very impressed with Miss World and I so much love the glitz and glam of the swimsuit and the evening evening gown competition at Miss Universe. So I just would love to see that at Miss World, but I know it's a different competition, it has a different focus, and they can't all be the same. So with that, let me know if you had an idea that Jamaica was going to win the competition. I feel like some of you felt like it was coming, so let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video.